What's up everyone? It's the Tyrant here. Welcome back to my Halo 3 Mythic walkthrough, aka Lazo or Lasso, Legendary All Skulls On. Today we're doing mission number four called The Storm. And I'll tell you this at the beginning. There's a real storm going on outside right now, ironically enough. So if you hear some thunder, I do apologize, but we have a tropical storm that is hitting the east coast right now. But we're going to pursue this anyway. So as soon as you're able, jump out of the vehicle. Go ahead and grab this full plasma pistol right here. And the battle rifle from over here. You start out with an assault rifle and a pistol. We don't need either one of those. Not on this difficulty setting. Now go ahead and get the Warthog in position. Right over here next to the pipes. Or this uh, grating right here. I'm going to go ahead and stick one of the jackals. Hit the switch. And jump back down. Be ready because the grunts are going to start firing a bunch of plasma grenades your way. Marines and the catch skull, ladies and gentlemen. Did he just say suck it? Now three grunts are going to emerge from this area over here. That poor marine. That's two. And the third one should be hiding right over here. And a jackal still left. So go ahead and load up on battle rifle ammo. There's more ammo over here. As well as in the back area of this Traxxas area. Area of the Traxxas area. Right over here. There we go. So once you're ready, go ahead and advance the Warthog. Keep it all the way in the back. As you can see, our shields are currently down. That is to be expected. Go ahead and hit the switch and back up. And make sure we have plenty of ammo here. Lots of grunts, jackals, and a few brutes will be on the other side. But fortunately, we have enough Marines alive, or did have enough Marines alive, to give us sort of a fire shield right there. Now there are two ghosts back there as well that the brutes are likely going to hijack. There are three brutes in total. One brute is down. Get me closer. The ghosts will charge, in which case you have an opportunity to use the plasma pistol to take one of them out. Remember, it has an EMP effect. Ghost is wasted. Move it. And the brutes are down. So now it's time to get busy with the next area. Go ahead and hit the switch. And you want to race as fast as you can to the middle of the area where you're going to leave your Warthog. Now there's a Brute Captain that you want to take out. Moving as fast as he can, sir. I know he'll get it done. Or at the very least, hit him with the Plasma Pistol. He's got a Brute Shot. Now, as quick as you can, get to the other side of the area. This is a very timed segment. A phantom is going to be dropping off a wraith. We want to hijack that wraith. And we're going to use that wraith to destroy all the ghosts and the anti-air wraith in the area. Now, hide in this little crate right here. The Wraith should not be facing you when it drops off. Now 
Now I went ahead and meleeed the Wraith once so that I could actually get my shields back. Now we're going to jump on top of it. Be very careful here because that plasma turret or that um, Wraith turret can actually get you. We're going to take out the secondary gunner just like that. Looks like our Warthog might be down for the count. That's okay. Because now we have ourselves a Wraith. Now sometimes the Grunts will try and come up here on the right hand side of the area. So you do need to be very cautious here. Because they will stick you. I don't see any more Grunts so we should be in pretty good shape. Now we can just use the Wraith to take everything out in this area. Easy peasy, one, two, three, easy. So for those wondering, with the Blind Skull active, your weapon reticle is about an inch below the center of the screen, give or take, depending on how big your television is. And when you're in a vehicle, the reticle is actually right in the center of the screen. So we hopped out of the Wraith right there to make sure the Phantom didn't try to fire any rounds at us. And thanks to the Cowbell Skull, you don't have to hit a ghost directly for it to actually have an effect. There we go. The ghosts tend to follow the same pattern. So he, this guy's going to come up right in the middle here. Giving us a decent opportunity to take him out. Whoops. Ghosts are down. Save the Wraith for last because Banshees tend to show up otherwise. Now you can actually go over here for additional battle rifle ammo, so that's exactly what we're doing here. Highly recommended because this next area is by far the toughest in the mission, at least in my opinion. Even harder than the Scarab battle. And when you're ready, go ahead and take out the anti-air wave. He won't attack you. He's always firing in the air. He's scripted to do that. Now leap the Wraith back in case you get a barrage of plasma grenades thrown your way. Use the battle rifle to take out as many of the grunts as you possibly can. When you've taken out enough of them, they'll start to retreat up to the upper left balcony. Now you see this Brute's actually trying to go for the Wraith here. Again, scripted to do that, so you can easily take him out. He won't attack you. This guy's going to do the same thing. Roots are down. There is a chieftain over here. So be very careful. He's got a plasma turret. As I was corrected from the last video, it's not plasma cannon, it's plasma turret. I thought it was plasma cannon. My bad. But you can actually avoid the chieftain altogether. Throw a bubble shield down. 
Jump up here, crouch jump more specifically. Whoops. And go ahead and skip this next area right here. A bunch of drones will fall from the sky or descend from the sky, if you will, if you stick around too long. I have defied gods and demons. So have I, but only when drunk. Okay, so you want to go ahead and grab a mongoose and drive right to the, the missile turrets. Or missile pods. There are going to be two anti-air wraiths in this area. Anti-air wraiths. Now, you're probably wondering why I did that. We actually want that rocket launcher. One down, one to go. Not quite yet, though. The missile pods are great for taking out the anti-air wraiths. I would highly recommend not using them to take out the ghosts unless they're far away. We're going to try to keep these things up as long as possible. Be very careful to not get hit by friendly rockets here. Ghosts will absolutely shred you in this area, so do not mount up onto the missile pods until they are down for the count. At least in, as long as they're ghosts in close proximity, we don't want to get on the missile pod. In the time it takes you to dismount, they can easily shred you to pieces. What do you say? Really? There we go. Ghost is down for the count. Now the rocket launcher we're saving for the Arbiter, who lands after you take out the Scarab. I'm going to show you how to equip the Arbiter with the rocket launcher rather than his standard plasma weapons. Okay, now that the ghosts are far away, we can easily go ahead and take them out with a missile pod. And that's the signal for the scarab. So we're going to go ahead and take the crane up to the top level and board the scarab. Make sure you have plenty of plasma pistol ammo here, as well as battle rifle ammo, and you are loaded up on grenades. Here's the Forerunner ship. The Dreadnought, if you will. Alright, here we go. Now, there are two ways to take this guy out. You can actually mount one of the missile pods if you want to. And knock off the back. Or, you can just take the crane up and board him. But it really depends on how he's spinning around. Now when he initially lands, this is the path that he's going to take. He's actually going to come very close to the side of the crane. Giving us a perfect opportunity to board him. Now you don't, the reason why you want to shoot the marines off the missile pods 
and I hate doing it, is because they can team kill you here. So be very careful. We're using the crane right now, or the upper catwalk, to take out as many of the enemies as we possibly can, so that when we actually board the scarab, we don't have that much to worry about. See, we almost got team killed there. Alright, brutes are off except for that guy. And you can actually melee the core right here, not just to get your shields back, but to also destroy it. Aim for the hunter worms. Or the legatos, or the legalados, or whatever you, however you pronounce it. Now run as fast as you can because the explosion combined with the cowbell skull can kill you here. So now I'm going to show you how to actually equip the Arbiter with the rocket launcher. Go ahead and weapon juggle the rocket launcher up here where the Arbiter is going to be. We're going to weapon juggle all the way over here. You have to pick one. You can't be both, Cortana. <laughs> so there's the Arbiter right there. We're going to go ahead and melee him. Yes, I know we're allies. And you're becoming... <laughs> so drop the rocket launcher right next to him. And the closest weapon is the one he's going to pick up. So now he's got a rocket launcher, and he is going to be your frontline man for the rest of this mission. Now check this out. We have a crap ton of brutes in this next area, but the Arbiter is going to make very short work of them. You can help him if you choose. When you've killed enough brutes, they'll start to retreat back to the next area, and a second wave will appear. Did he just say I throw like a girl? That's not appropriate for 2020. Oh, there you are, you sorry son of a And as you can see, the Arbiter is making very short work of these brutes right here. He's moved into cover. should also be noted that you have a bunch of battle rifle ammo back here, so you should never run out. But the battle rifle will not work on brute shields on Mythic Difficulty, a.k.a. Lasso. But they will work on unshielded brutes, which is why the Arbiter is our frontline man here. Now, when the Arbiter gets damaged too much, he'll actually put aside his rocket launcher and retrieve his energy sword. Which is surprisingly effective, even on this difficulty setting. Now keep an eye on that rocket launcher. We don't want to lose it. Especially when the hunters come up in the next, er next area. 
All right, so there's the Arbiter. We want to get him that rocket launcher again. I'm going to wait until we actually clear out some of the brutes here because otherwise he's just going to get stuck just like that. Get your own kills. Frag out. Who is Vera? So again, remember to take that rocket launcher with you. Welcome to the social. Lots of brutes over here, including a captain with a with a uh, brute shot. So be very careful. You have other brutes with carbines. They can one shot you when your shields are down. So again. Take this nice and slow. Now you can actually jump up here to get some leverage. Nice point of entry where the brutes are located. And we are out of plasma pistol ammo. You can use that carbine to help take down their shields from a distance, but because we're at medium range right now, they can shoot at you too. So be very careful. Totally missed that grenade. Now, if you want, you can grab spikers. I actually recommend this for the hunter fight. Believe it or not, hunters are very susceptible to spikers. And you can make very short work of them, especially with the Arbiter distracting them with the rocket launcher. Now we're using the stationary gun to check our shields. They are currently, at least we have partial shields. I don't know if we have full shields, but we're not crackling at the moment. So that's a good thing. Now we can jump up here to see where that last brute is. And the brute is down. Oh, there's still the captain back there with the brute shot. And another one. Ouch. Lots of spiker grenades over here. Or spike grenades. Ouch. I trapped him down. I lost him. He's in cover. I see him. Do you see him? Okay, he's hiding back behind the crates. You can tell by the way he's holding his weapon. There we go. Brutes are down. Now we have to worry about the hunters. Also, get Arbiter his rocket launcher back.
Make sure we're all armored up here. Now go ahead and repeat the same tactic from before. No, it wasn't. Arbiter comes back and he's got his rocket launcher. Now go ahead and load up with uh, spiker ammo right here. Welcome to the fight. And now trigger the hunters. See if we can push Arbiter forward here. He's just kind of looking at me at the moment. There we go. At the very least, Arbiter can severely weaken the Hunters while you also take them out with the Spiker. There's actually a dance you can do with the Hunters if the Arbiter and the Rocket Launcher are not working for you. But they should work just fine. Okay, we have both hunters here. Again, equip the spikers. Dual wield them. And look how quickly he fell from the spiker. Actually, you don't need to dual wield them here, especially if you uh, want to lob some grenades their way. But again, very weak against the spiker. Uh oh. Okay, we should have an opening here. Whoops. Dumpster got in the way. Save your anger, Gonna go ahead and grab some more ammo. When you can no longer reload, you know you're on your last clip. Making sure Arbiter's not over here waiting to hit me with the rocket launcher. He has vengeance in his heart, I'm telling you. I love the Marines. Just make sure they don't accidentally grenade you in the process. And he fell again. Hunters are down, so now you can proceed to the next area. Watch out, you have brutes with carbines. There are two of them. And you have a brute chieftain with a gravity hammer. Now, once you've killed enough of their guys, they'll retreat back, which they obviously did. And there's a carbine brute, so be very careful here. I don't know why he's shooting at the wooden platform, but... Or the pallet, I should say. So let's see if we can get Arbiter up here. Also, you can go up the stairs on the left-hand side. 
there's a sniper rifle up there that you can utilize, but again, on mythic difficulty, it's useless against brute armor. But you can also use it to advance the Arbiter. Which is exactly what we're doing here. You have one Blade Arbiter. One. And you have one job. So lots of grunts over here. Get that battle rifle ready. And clear out the cannon fodder. Getting rid of those fusion coils just to be on the safe side. Reinforcements. All right, Arbiter. Need you to get it, get up a little bit further here. There we go. Now let's see if we can get Arbiter up here to help us out with the rocket launcher. There we go. The beast has a hammer. One brute down. Another carbine brute to go. Carbine brute down. Now it's the chieftain we have to worry about. Don't go in for the melee here because Arbiter has his rocket launcher. As you can see, the brute chieftain just activated his invincibility. So just steer clear because obviously he cannot die when he has that thing activated. His shields are crackling. And the Brute Chieftain is down. Suck it. Now you want to grab some plasma pistols here because we're going to use that to take out the anti-air gun. I'm going to show you how to do this from a distance without having to worry about that fuel rod gun wielding chieftain at the end of the mission. There we go. Now you can actually apply this to the stationary gun as well. But our goal here is to get the enemies to retreat back under the plasma or the uh, stationary gun. Fast. Destroy that gun. We're out of time. There's the chieftain up there. Once you've killed enough grunts, they'll retreat back underneath the stationary cannon. And then we can proceed forward. You don't want to get stuck here. We're at the end of the mission now. All right, his shields are down. Usually that'll cause him to retreat, but not always. Okay, so now he's retreated. Make sure you have plenty of plasma pistol ammo. It only takes two overcharged shots to bring down the stationary anti-air gun. Time it just right. As soon as it goes back up, that's when you want to hit the overcharge.
And we just missed it. So again, we're going to wait for the... Wait for it to go back up. Hit the overcharge. And it should bring you enough time to actually take out... Alright, so it's weakened. One more, and that should do it. Anti-air gun is down, and that is the storm on Mythic Difficulty, a.k.a. Legendary All Skulls on, a.k.a. Lasso. I hope you found this guide useful to you, and if you did, I hope you'll consider subscribing for more great content right here on the channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful week. I'll catch you all right back here next time, and as always, I'm the Tyrant, signing off.